expectation is that we will take the judiciary to higher heights. The uh, reputation that it has will improve it. We will make sure that people have more confidence in the judiciary. And I believe that um, it's not a one-man job. We all have to be on board. And because we all see where the areas are that need improvement, I believe that there will be cooperation because we all want to see a better judiciary. A better judiciary is for the benefit of the entire nation. Whatever the uh, shortcomings that we see today, we are all members of the society. So if we want to see improvement, let the improvement start with each and every one of us and our approach to justice. Let us all also have faith in the system. And then we'll also be more particular about the process of appointment. I know it gives a lot of um, concern, discipline on the bench, at, at the bar as well. All these things are aspects that we will look into. And I believe that by the grace of God, at the end of my tenure, we will have a judiciary we can all be proud of. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, I'm very excited. We're very, very excited. Um, first, it's because um, we have not kept any any vacuum you know, in our democracy, and that's the beauty of it. You know, yesterday we had a former CJN step down, haven't attained the you know, statutory age, and within 24 hours, you know, you've seen the beauty of our democracy. Um, Mr. President himself had to um, um, stop his own trip to ensure that you know um, governance and democracy does not stop. It doesn't. There is no vacuum, you know, and, and he has shown the importance and the strategic relevance of the judiciary to ensure that we have a new Chief Justice of the Federation, albeit in an acting capacity, within 24 hours, so that nothing is left you know, to chance at all. And we're indeed excited that he's taking it you know, as a very serious constitutional responsibility to come in and, and, and exercise you know, um, and conduct the, the swearing in ceremony um, this morning. And you also could see that the National Assembly too were well represented by the Senate President himself. You know, so for us, you know, it's a beauty of what, what our democracy is. And to all Nigerians, I think it's another moment for us to be thankful. She will be, you know, uh, the second female Chief Justice of the Federation. And, and what a time. You know, um, and we're indeed excited. We're excited not just because she's a Nigerian, I am, but because of who she is. You know, she's been an outstanding jurist, you know, and from my resume, she's one of the only very few people that started first, you know, just as a lawyer, you know, and also passing through all of the various courts, magistrate courts, the, the, the high courts, the court of appeal, and of course now becoming um, the Supreme Court, you know, and the Chief Judge of the Chief Justice of, of the Federation. So it, it brings about, you know, a time um, that we all need to continue to um, ensure that our democracy understands and appreciates the clear separation of power and for everyone understanding and knowing fully well that yes they are independent but we all need each other you know at various radicals to ensure that it all fits in you know to, to, to uh, and in appropriately so for me it's really for the judiciary which the former CGN and started the reform to continue to, 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 to continue and for her to show that leadership that we know her too well for and ensuring that they are the last postal. Whatever they say is the final, no yes. other person can. And so for, we pray for her, for God to ask her to enable her to do that. Amen. 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 Can we move?